Good morning everyone, welcome to Yoga Wave Yolanta. I thought today, since we're feeling a little bit maybe heavy after Christmas, we can have a nice detoxifying uh, session. And yes, I am, on the, I am on the beach, a bit different uh, scenery to the cold Canadian winter. So uh, I hope you enjoy every moment of this practice as much as I will enjoy it. Okay, well, let's get to it. We've got loads to work on. Uh, we're going to start by going into the um, <coughs> into the frog pose, just working on our hips a little bit. So coming to all fours and bringing the palms a bit distance away from you and having the knees hip distance apart. And we're going to come into a gentle back bend. So moving your chest forward, we want to open that heart. And then we're going to go into the frog pose and just relax the forehead down a few more times, inhaling, exhaling. Just feeling the sense of your heart opening the lower body, opening your groin, your hips. Two more times. And then one more time. And then in here we're going to stay just for two or three breaths, getting the sense of the uh, upper body just opening, strengthening. So your knees are still wider apart. And then we're going to look over the right shoulder towards the right foot into the twist. Inhale back to the center and then exhale onto the other side. And we do that two more times. Inhale to the center, exhale, twist. Look over the right shoulder towards the right foot. Inhale, center, exhale. Inhale, center. Exhale. I like doing twists after Christmas break as we all overindulge and maybe upset our digestive system to one degree or other. So coming back to all fours, you can move the palms a little bit closer towards you now and bringing one palm in the middle of the mat, lengthening through that right arm, staying here for three breaths. And then lowering that palm down and I want to be up tonight, staying here for three breaths. And then lowering the palm down. From cat into downward facing dog, opening, tucking your toes under into the dog. So take the time, that first downward dog, to feel the pose. So chest closer towards your legs, just get the sense of again opening, expanding in your upper and your lower body. Three more breaths in here. Pressing the heels down to the ground, to your mat. And then coming back onto your knees and bringing the palm down towards, towards the heels. Bring the palms together. We go to inhale, extend your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, twisting <laughs> towards the left, bringing the palms by your side. Inhale up, exhale towards the right. And repeat that two more times. Inhale, extend, expand again, exhale. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale, twist a day, keeps doctor away, just like with the apples. Um, twist have an amazingly detoxifying effect on your body, so we want to include them in our daily practice because they kick your digestive system into play. They stimulate the digestive fire called agony. 
they rid your body of the old blood, delivering freshly new purified blood when you twist. They massage all the internal organs. Also strengthen your spine, even more reason to practice them on a daily basis. Inhaling one more time. Lengthen, stay in here. Again, expand, extend. Take some breaths into that expansion in your upper body. And then twist. One more time. Expansion, inviting openness into your life, into your body. And then exhale. And then bring the palms on your, on your knees. Just getting movement into your shoulders, opening the shoulders. We carry a lot of tension in our shoulders. Two more times. And then lowering the chin down. Just rolling the head in a half head roll from side to the other side. One more time on each side. And then once more, bringing the palms together, raising your arms up, expanding, stretching the side stretch, beautiful side stretch of your body. Feel that extension in your left armpit. Two more breaths in here. And I'm coming back up and onto the other side. Two more breaths. And I'm coming back up. We're going to go from cat into the dog again. Inhaling, lengthening, exhaling into the dog. Inhale, one leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale. Exhale. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Coming back into the cup. Inhaling, dipping the spine. And we're going to come back into the dog again. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale. Exhale, two more times. And then coming into the swan so walking the palms slowly just feeling that extension now under both armpits keeping your head up a few moments and then lowering your head down onto your mat staying here for a few deep breaths Okay, coming back to all fours. We're going to now bring them, uh, just reverse the palms. So we're going to bring the fingers. Maybe you want to bring your palms a little bit closer to you if that's uncomfortable. And yes, you will feel a deep pull, maybe deep stretch, and that's normal. So the fingers will face towards your knees. And we're going to reverse the breathing in a cat pose. So as you're dipping your spine, opening your heart and looking ahead of you, we're going to exhale. And then inhale, rounding the spine, lowering the head down. And again, a few more times. Exhaling, inhaling, opening.
This is a very good stretch for your wrist. Anyone that suffers with a carpal tunnel syndrome, a painful wrist if you're sitting in the office, all the time in front of the keyboard, this could really help. One more time. And then we're going to now turn the palms the other way, so the fingers facing forward and once more in the cat pose. Now we're going to reverse the breathing again, so inhaling, dip your spine, exhale, round the back. Drop the head down, we want the neck to relax, inhale. And then coming back into downward facing dog, lift the left leg up towards the sky and now bring that left knee forward. Option in here is either to keep the right knee up or by all means you can lower it down. If you keep it up it will be a little bit more challenging. So lifting the chest into Virabhadrasan 1, taking your arms up. And again, you can move the elbows out to the side so we get the sense of expansion in our heart, just lifting the chin up. Two more breaths in here. Pressing the back heel down to the ground because that's going to open the back leg. And we want to engage as many things as we can in the posture. It is a strong pose, so let's just feel the full benefits of it. And then folding the palms together now. So we still will try to get the sense of lifting the chest away from your, from your knees. Inhaling, lengthening, and then you're going to bring the right elbow above the left knee. The left elbow will go up. If this is too challenging, press that right knee down on the ground. Two more breaths. Beautiful twist, quite a strong one. And we're going to now Bring the left thumb on the inside of the left foot and open through the right arm, arm up, extending, expanding. And this is what we want to create in our life too, right? Just that extension, expansion. At times we just go through life feeling stuck, not open. And the openness to everything, just having open minds and open hearts really, really help lowering the palm down. Coming back into the dog, so bringing that left foot down, again opening in here. Now inhaling, taking the right leg up, stepping the right foot forward. And then again into Virabhadrasana one. So first just lift your arms up. Feel the back leg stretching, pressing the back heel down the right knee bend and then opening through your elbows into the heart lifting the chin up slightly three breaths in here my friends and then bringing the palms together so lifting let's get that lift from the base of your spine the left elbow will come above the right knee the right elbow will go up you can lower yourself down even more if you want to feel Deeper stretch. Two more breaths. And then bringing the right palm on the inside of the right foot, lifting your left arm up. Open. One more breath and then lowering the palm down and we're going to go into the dog again pressing it down and then stepping the left foot forward bringing the right foot down this time the right knee down we're going to wriggle that left foot out towards the end of the mat and open the toes out to the side 
we're going to press the pelvis down. So the left palm will be on your left knee, the right palm down on the mat, and we're pressing the pelvis down, the groin down towards the mat, into a slight twist, so you twist towards the left knee. Two more breaths in here. Now bending that right knee and bringing the left palm towards that foot. So now we're going into a bit deeper twist. Deep breaths. Beautiful twist, beautiful pose. And then lowering the right leg down and then bringing both palms in front of you. So either staying in here again, opening your heart, or if you do have the ability to lower yourself down onto your elbows, then do so. We're going to lower the head down onto your palms. Open that left knee out to the side. We want to feel as much as we can in this pose. And we're working on expansion today opening it's a new year and we want to do just that we want to let go of anything that's not serving us anymore that doesn't have a purpose in our lives we often make a lot of new year resolutions maybe sometimes too many putting too much pressure on us so we don't want to do that and if you can think maybe of two things that you can start working on is letting go expansion expansion and openness may come as one two more breaths expanding letting go and yoga is about expanding extending opening letting go and then coming up wow and then bringing that knee down and again into downward facing dog and we will meet on the other side in that lovely deep hip opener so just pressing the heart towards the legs taking the left knee up and then stepping the left foot no sorry we were stepping the right foot forward now so you're going to bring the left knee down and then wriggle that right forward to the end of the mat opening the toes out to the side so the heel is in the toes are out and then moving the palms forward and again just pressing your pelvis to groin down to the ground that right knee it's opening so breathe in here freedom openness breathe out stagnation the feeling of being trapped, stuck, just letting go. Two more breaths. And now we're going to draw that left foot towards the palm and reach out towards that foot with the right palm. So we're going into a deeper twist now. So that foot can come as close to your bum or maybe further away, depending on your flexibility. The right knee is opening and we're breathing. Wow, what a deep stretch, beautiful. We're in a twist as well. You can lift your chin up a bit higher. Feel the extension in all parts of your body. Two more breaths. And then releasing, letting go, and bringing both palms in front of you, either opening in here or maybe even lowering yourself down onto your elbows, lowering the head down. Again, that right knee is opening. Two more breaths. slowly coming out of that bringing that knee down now both knees 
about hip distance apart from one another. We're going to come up into a modified camel pose. And again, you don't have to go as far as I will be going, go halfway if that feels uh, better for you. Option is to actually tuck your toes under so the heels will be lifted up a bit more and you won't have to go as far if you want to touch the heel or you just relax your toes down. When you inhaling, lifting your left arm up and then trying to touch the right heel down with your right palm. Exhale, coming up. Inhale again, extending. Exhale, down. Inhale up. One more time on each side. And then lowering the palm down towards your heels. And then once more, just slowly settling yourself into the swan. Forehead down, just taking few breaths in here Breathing in, expansion into our lives, breathing out, letting go of anything we don't need anymore. And what is it usually? Fear, anger, resentment, depression, anxiety. Don't forget that fear, when replaced by love, doesn't exist anymore. It's opposite of fear, love, and really love on every level just heals and cures so many things in our lives. Love for others, but mainly love for yourself. Very important to, to work towards feeling that love for yourself, inhaling, bringing the palms up. And we're going to sit down with the right knee bent, left leg out to the side. If you can reach out as far as to the big left toe, just wrapping the first two fingers around it and do so, if not, keep the palm on your leg. Extending your right arm up, you can look towards the palm if you want to exhale down towards that left leg. And again, the first couple of times, maybe just do it gradually in a pulsating motion. If you need to bend your knee, if you've got lower back problems, knee, or even just tight hamstrings, then bend the left knee. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Then turning the pelvis towards that left side. Again, getting lengthening your lower back, your middle back, your upper back, maybe extending, walking that palms a little bit more forward towards the foot and just trying to relax in here. Three breaths. Punching the toes up, that will add a deeper stretch in your hamstrings on the back of your leg. And walking the palms back up. I want you to bring your right palm now beside you. And we're going to lift the palm off the ground, inhaling, extending that left arm up above your head. Three more breaths in here.
and then lowering the arm down, lowering your bum down. We're going to move on to the other side. So taking the right leg out to the side, left knee bend. We're going to wrap the first two fingers either around your big toe or anywhere on your leg. And then inhale, lengthening through the left arm. You can look towards the palm if you've got no neck problems. If you do, then just keep your head down. Exhale, in a pulsating motion, just getting your spine eased off towards that right leg. Bend the knee if you need to. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Inhale, exhale. Then turning the pelvis towards that right leg, so wriggling your spine up and then forward towards the leg. Trying to relax both of your shoulders down. beside you we're going to lift the bum and the leg off the floor inhaling exhaling extending that right arm forward the right armpit will be above your right ear maybe lifting that bum up a little bit higher deep breaths in here One more breath, and then coming down. And we will take the legs wider apart from one another, interlocking the fingers together apart from your index finger, lengthening your arms up, exhale, twisting towards one leg, coming down, inhale, up, twist, exhale, down. more times on each side. The last time we're going to stay towards the right or the left. Doesn't matter what side you went to, we're only going to do that on the other side. And then coming up and then coming on to the other leg, trying to keep the opposite buttock down on the floor. Now lengthening and then coming forward and with strong poses such as that we want to just get the sense of how it feels first or maybe just going a little bit more forward rather than going into the full pose straight away and easing yourself gradually into the pose that might be it if you can't go any further than staying there we always want to point the toes up in forward bends as this increases the stretch in your hamstrings. Maybe after a few breaths you may feel ready to go forward a bit more. You can also get hold of your big toes if that makes it any easier. One more breath and then walking the palms up. Taking the legs in front of you and we will roll the legs in and out. Okay, we're going to come into the squat. Taking the toes out to the side, your heels will come in, bringing the palms in front of you. Trying to remain on your toes, which will add a little bit extra challenge to your balance. And 
inhaling, coming into the forward bend with the heels of the floor. Exhaling, coming into the squat. So lower the head down as much as you can. Bring the chest down towards the legs. Opening your heart here again as you're coming into the squat. So move the shoulder blades, move the scapulas closer to one another. So it will allow you to have the heart moving forward. We always want to move forward with our lives, hearts, love, bringing love into our lives and letting go of fear. staying in here maybe lowering the heels down taking the toes a bit wider apart from one another bringing the palms around your ankles look ahead of you lengthen exhale down two more times maybe you can lift the palms now below your knees lengthen exhale down And then coming into the squat, we're going to take the legs a bit wider apart. With your elbows pressing onto the inner parts of your knees, opening them, and then relaxing your elbows in between the legs, palms together. Take 40 breaths in here. And then lowering the palms down, extending the left leg out to the side. And we're going to bring the palms in front of you and press that left thigh down. Almost a half split. We want to feel the stretch in your groin, your inner thigh, your hip. Two more breaths in here. And then drawing that foot in and now extending through the other side and again lowering the pelvis down, your groin, deep stretch, deep sensations, deep breaths. Drawing that leg in once more in a, in a squat. This time we're going to raise ourselves up. We're still on our toes, if possible. Deep breaths in here. Maybe noticing any other areas of tension in your body that you still haven't managed to release. So consciously relaxing your shoulders. Is there still any tension being held in the, your neck? Maybe slowly moving the head from side to side will help you establish how much tension you have. With the breath, try to soften the areas of remaining tension. We're going to go into Gomukhas and Cow Pose. Beautiful, one of my favorite stretch. Um, bringing the left knee on the top of the right one. If that's impossible, sit with your legs crossed and lengthening the spine right from the base chakra Muladha. We want to lift it up, arms out to the side, exhaling, coming forward, lowering the palms down and settling yourself in the pose here with your breath, letting the breath guide you into how far you want to go with it.
maybe you can wriggle your spine a bit more forward and come deeper. We always need to try to find that edge in a pose where you know that this is it for you, maybe for now, and the longer we stay in a pose, especially with hip openness, the more we can really see where our edge is. Can we go can we move through that edge a little bit more forward? It's good to challenge yourself in a healthy way. If you can, just stay within your limits and letting the breath release stress, trauma from the hips, from your body. And we're gently coming up. We're going to bring the palms to the right and now swap to the other side so you walk your thumbs towards the other side and now having the right knee on the top of the left one again if that's impossible change the cross of your legs and <coughs> excuse me and sit with your legs crossed lengthening again right from the base the foundation of our spine mulada chakra opening your arms out to the side come forward into the breath, into the strong feelings of the hip opener. Letting go, surrendering to all the sensations that the posture had created. Once you find that edge in your pose, staying within for a few seconds after it passes, because the sensations do change when we inhale openness, that's why it's good to hold them for a little bit longer because they shift, they change, they move, and maybe at that stage you can recognize it and move past, forward that, um, that edge in a pose where you can go a little bit deeper within. Gently coming out of the pose, taking the legs in front of you and doing them rolling the legs in and out. Once more, pointing the toes up, we're going to reach out through your right armpit, right arm, right fingertips, and then bring that right palm on your left foot. The left palm will go on your waist. Inhaling, lengthening, exhaling, twisting, bending that right elbow on the inside of your legs the left elbow can lift up a bit higher three more breaths in here and I'm coming up the other side lift up and then bring the left palm on your right foot bending the Left elbow bringing the right palm on your waist, the right elbow goes up. Inhale, come up, lengthening through both of your arms, stretching fingers up towards the beautiful blue sky that's above my head and then coming forward. And then lifting it hard up. Rolling the legs in and out. We're going to sit with our legs crossed, just ending our practice, making a mudra, bringing the thumb and the first finger together, resting your palms lightly on your knees. We want to sit in a comfortable way so the spine can always lengthen. And then closing your eyes. And from here, I want you to tune in to the sound of the sea behind me. 
using the ujjayi breath, we're going to constrict the, the back of the throat as we're inhaling, making a sound, internal sound of the ocean in our body, in our throat, the vibration of the ocean. Exhaling the same, using the back of the throat, constricting it a little bit, making that gentle hissing sound. So once you get yourself familiar with the, with the breath, I want you to just tune in with the sound of the waves behind me, using the internal sound of your waves. We want to lengthen the breath in here, so taking a bit deeper inhalations, drawing the breath into you, and then as you're exhaling, letting the exhalation be longer than your inhale, drawing the breath, the stress out of your body. internal sound of the ocean within you connects with the external sound of the waves. Deep, letting go breaths, few more breaths. Ujjayi breath has a wonderfully soothing effect on your entire nervous system. It can help you actually sleep if you've got problems with sleeping. When you're lying in bed, you can make that gentle hissing sound. And you can slowly start drawing the circles with your head, lifting the chin up on the inhalation, exhaling, bringing the chin down a few more times. Changing the direction, inhale, chin up, exhale, down. And then bring the head back to the center. Just release the mudra, give your thumbs a good shake, shake your arms, just move your body to awaken yourself in whatever way you want. And then draw the palms together. My friends, thank you so much for joining me. If you like my yoga, subscribe to my channel, Yoga with Yolanta. And have an amazing day and see you till the next time. Namaste. Thank you.